Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for uh, coming into uh, my talk. And today I would like to uh, share uh, my idea on uh, to develop a, a mobile application for to translate the sign language and also to learn. And uh, it will be uh, done by image recognition like machine learning. And before we start, uh, let's take a look at this picture. And here are some screenshots uh, from some of the drama. Have any of you uh, like watched some of these? <laughs> oh, no. but never mind. Uh, you, um, at least like you can uh, see that there's a, like a common topic. Like some of the characters uh, are doing some sign language. And if you, you have uh, watched uh, these like movies or, or the drama, you can see there are some barriers in the communication and uh, how uh, uh, people are trying to overcome it. And before I go uh, deeper into uh, like introducing my idea to develop uh, the application, uh, here's just something about myself. Um, I'm not from an um, uh, IT background. I'm you know, working as an uh, academic about implementation in my lab. I'm now a PhD candidate uh, in cell molecular biology, but I'm curious about a lot of things like from language, like, like coding, and, and so I did it. Uh, uh, different uh, things like to uh, volunteer in different community service, such as like uh, developing some um, web and, and so on. And uh, here's some background about like the, why a sign language is needed. I, uh, you can see from the statistics from the WHO and some of the Hong Kong government statistics, uh, like over five percent of the world's population. Uh, like more than uh, 400 million people are suffering from uh, disabling hearing loss. And uh, the number is like more than 150,000 in Hong Kong. And many of these uh, people, they rely on uh, sign language to communicate. And here are some facts about um, the sign language. Uh, it is a system of communication uh, using the physical gestures, uh, um, uh, like uh, hand signs, and, and it also includes their facial expression, and they're usually used by deaf people. And like, uh, I take the definition from the Oxford Dictionary, and unlike what, uh, what, like, uh, what I'm doing, like using some general hand size, uh, or just really, the sign language is a, a system, like, so it has a, a modal size, and each sign is symbolic. Um, and, and it is a common system, um, so, uh, like, and this is also like region specific. Like the one used in Hong Kong is called like HKSL. It is different from um, like say American sign language, ASL. And actually, the ability to use the sign language is actually causing a social barrier. Uh, for instance, I must admit that I haven't learned sign language before. But that how come I, I came up with this idea is that uh, one day I joined, the, I passed by some uh, social affair in the university and I learned a few uh, sign language. Like in chocolate, uh, they were demonstrating the how to say chocolate in sign language. In, in Cantonese, it's like jugu, like, like three syllables. And because it's so, so difficult to um, express like the chocolate, so it, it takes the first word at, um, and the last word and take the, uh, um, the similar sound like a G like peck, and then and like um, like the power and to express the, and it needs to be guessed by either uh, or both the one and using a sign and re uh, receiving the sign, and I, I find that actually it's really not e something easy. So actually, people uh, who suffer from this hearing impairment, uh, they rely on, on the language to communicate. But most of us, like, like we uh, don't actually know. So uh, as we can see, uh, that the image recognition and uh, technologies are becoming more advanced in these days, and we can actually see a lot of uh, like um, uh, APIs, and, and many of them are open source. Uh, so I was thinking, can we do something uh, to? Uh, uh, improve the situation. So um, uh, this is my idea to design an app. Like I want to call it like Sci Care temporarily, 
that uh, I admit that because, uh, sorry for my uh, happy workflow or in my uh, doctorate study and also something having, so, so there's some delay in the progress. So um, uh, their project is now uh, under development and, and, and in progress and uh, I will try to uh, like uh, release the uh, 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 prototype uh, uh, soon. And uh, uh, in the following, I would like to uh, discuss what I would like to uh, uh, use um, uh, how I am going to stitch the uh, different things, uh, and how open source is uh, helping in this process. So something more, uh, why do we need a sign language uh, translation mobile app? Um, currently, as far as I see, like most of the resources are using uh, um, like a catalog. They uh, have the drawings, or uh, sometimes it's better, like videos uh, to, uh, that express the uh, meaning of the sign language and attach a uh, label of what the word is. And, and there's uh, little resources, um, if any, it is uh, in the reverse direction. So uh, there is a translation app, like also uh, in the work to sign and direction, but it's for the American Sign Language ASL. But uh, you can barely find any for the other uh, sign languages. So, uh, and you can imagine, uh, firstly, if you uh, want to check uh, the meaning of a sign language uh, from um, those video dictionary that are already doing a good job, that it still takes like a, a huge data uh, transfer. And you uh, don't expect that when somebody is uh, do, doing in the sign language, uh, for example, in the press conference we see it like, uh, often in the Hong Kong news uh, these days. And, and you don't expect uh, that us to uh, check uh, like thousands of the videos before we know all, all, uh, what the meaning of one side is. So if we can do it the other way, it would be very handy. Like uh, we can just take our mobile phone on and uh, uh, point it to uh, the uh, people, uh, the person doing the sign uh, language. And it will can, because it's real time and you face the real person, and it will facilitate the communication. So I reckon um, the uh, development of the app will be involved in these steps. Uh, firstly, it will take a lot of data collection, like, and we have to uh, see, uh, uh, get uh, pictures of the uh, data, uh, and, and label them like what uh, each side I mean, and we need to train the model, uh, oh, and design the interface uh, as uh, a routine and. Uh, when we have, uh, when maybe I have time, I will try to improve the graphics and the you know, UX uh, for people to better use. Um, let's go one by one. So for data collection, um, besides, of course, for machine learning, especially like the neural network, we often uh, uh, talk about big data these days. Uh, it's, the, ideally, we have to get like thousands or even um, a million of uh, data. But uh, for as a proof of concept, I will uh, show you all next uh, in the model training path that it actually doesn't um, take uh, um, like, like thousands to uh, translate uh, uh, some um, basic meaning. But the uh, difficulty lies in, in that uh, for, the, uh, for each meaning, because the sign language is a um, um, model, for example, you, can, uh, you need a uh, few signs uh, to express one meaning. So some of the signs can overlap with each other. And then, and if you want to uh, train you know, a better model, then maybe you need a lot of uh, data curation and to maybe extract like, the unique um, uh, sign within the uh, a few uh, signs that express different meaning. So, and also for data, should we get the photos or video or uh, data? And uh, shall we take a lot of photos and uh, get screenshots? All of these uh, need a lot of time and efforts. So here's some example, like, I mean, I just do it myself, like, I try that like smile is like this, and laugh is like, the, the hand is moving. So if you just take the static photo, and um, it actually, maybe it's better that you uh, get the, for laugh that uh, you would get it like this, instead of, uh, because the both have the uh, fingers pointing to the mouth, uh, the corners of the uh, mouth, and. And this one, like, Coke, um, is like uh, circling in the her mouth. And this is an example that sometimes you can't uh, really guess uh, that the meaning is, is symbolic, uh, just like uh, 
like for uh, uh, Chinese, you have different uh, methods to form a word. Sometimes you can't really get from how it looks. And like go online, like Xiangwang, uh, Xiangwang, is like like up is and net. Uh, so uh, maybe you need to uh, curate maybe the net. So yeah. and so far my. Uh, what I can find, uh, because I'm uh, trying to work on the HKSL uh, resources, uh, uh, these two are uh, the most resourceful uh, ones I can and find, like the Hong Kong Sign Language Browser uh, and the uh, like Sign Language Dictionary. They, that actually contains uh, a lot of the uh, labeled uh, videos. And sometimes I, I also try to find some YouTube channel, but uh, they are really not enough. So uh, oh, I'm uh, still trying to gather the uh, data. And on the model training part, so I was considering like, what I can do for, for, to uh, train the model. And the most easiest one, um, of course, would be the if image recognition, like the CNN. And maybe if we can do like video streaming, the RNN, it may improve the accuracy. And if you want to be more sophisticated as the, uh, uh, the project gets more uh, uh, advanced, Maybe you want to uh, do uh, even like post estimation, like page, uh, even ex recognize the facial expression because uh, sometimes um, uh, the sign language is not just about the hand. But uh, we need, uh, it is uh, far more to that. Like, of course, uh, that's, I think the advantage is that uh, the uh, more uh, uh, factors you consider, that it will be more accurate. But then uh, it's also more challenging. And then I was finding uh, what we already have, like what resources, especially open source, we can make use of. But because if we want to do, uh, make this app, we want to make it available or to uh, as many people as possible. So uh, I don't want to limit it to uh, one system. Um, or, and so far, like the TensorFlow and Firebase is the uh, ML kit developed by Google can handle the um, uh, model or, or training part. And the TensorFlow, oh, as you know, is open source. And another thing, like Apple has also developed like Swift as an um, open source uh, programming platform that can uh, program like apps uh, for iOS. And the, uh, the Core ML is that package for uh, the training, the, uh, including the uh, image recognition. And something uh, uh, for the um, Maze, like MAZE mobile AI computing engine, uh, is just a uh, an example of another open source package that is used for the post estimation. However, if we, so far uh, the post estimation it always takes the the, the, mostly the whole body, uh, as you see. Then uh, so far are uh, not so applicable to our proof of concept. And I've already expressed that I want to do it for for both platform. So it is better that we can do it. Um, uh, uh, one off. Like, and for the uh, training, uh, because the uh, TensorFlow and file based solution can be used on both iOS and Android, so I would go, like to go for uh, that direction. And the AutoML uh, provides a very good package that actually allows us to use uh, the pre trained uh, model. Or on five is to load onto the uh, mobile device and to be used to, uh, for real time and camera uh, uh, prediction. And to develop the app, I would like to use like uh, this platform. It is also open source. The uh, Flutter is a cross-platform mobile app development and framework that uh, provides uh, a lot of the uh, convenient uh, UI. It is also by Google. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty new. Oh, maybe uh, uh, um, some or many of you well, may have tried, but uh, like it's only released like in 2017, and the community is still growing. Like the last stable release is just um, not uh, many days ago, and it features like fast development and very flexible UI. The it is based on the Dask language. And something very convenient is that it is structured as a rigid tree. So from the app itself to the edge um, of the 
the container and each of the official features, uh, you, you see an, an also the logic, it is in the uh, rigid API. So it provides, like, for example, like text, screen, and uh, uh, et cetera. So we can easily call and modify the rigid uh, uh, to save time and to uh, uh, like, like design the actual application instead of writing on all the syntax. And I also found uh, some of the repository that contains uh, useful resources. Yeah. And yeah, here are uh, some of other examples. And I would like to say the Flutter Studio oh, is <laughs> I would like to introduce this because it provides a visual um, interface that you can actually drag and drop those components and it will automatically generate the code that you can plug into all your uh, designing projects. Oh, so, so this is a bit embarrassing, but I want to show you, like, like it is actually, um, for now it is not so difficult to train a model. Of course, you can write your own model, decide each layer, uh, like how many new ones and, and like how, how the network structure. But uh, we can also make use of what's already available for some, like the uh, auto ML vision. You just upload all those uh, pictures you have. Uh, this, uh, well, I don't want to skip this page. Basically, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you can for each label. Uh, um, of course, it um, advises you to use at least like 100 pictures. But if your data set, like I don't have a lot of labels, so you know, um, I just want to uh, as a proof of concept. I don't see. Like, as you can see, I just took a new old picture uh, uh, right in this one. It can already. I, I don't have this uh, picture in the data set, but it can already predict it with high accuracy that uh, this time it means thank you. So. So after like some uh, background research, I'm planning to like stitch up uh, different like uh, uh, um, components together and also with the open source like and uh, here are some packages I, I think I can use like for example to uh, use the uh, how to connect the file-based model into the app and uh, some example of the, the lay layouts I use. And of course, uh, the, it sounds in AC, but uh, I would anticipate that, that there would be uh, quite some challenges. Of course, uh, the uh, biggest challenge for me would be the lack of uh, ground truth uh, uh, data. And it would uh, take, uh, I believe, like much more effort than to write a code uh, uh, and to get uh, enough uh, uh, pictures for each of the site. Like, because like even for the dictionary, I found like those are videos like to uh, and I don't want just uh, 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 capture all the videos. I need to see like which part of the sign is um, uh, actually the feature of, of the sign. And of course, when you uh, uh, say point your uh, camera uh, to uh, somebody, and for some signs that because it is a uh, stream him of uh, movements, it's just like natural language. We will face the problem of like semantic segmentation. And like uh, the uh, multimodal sign ambiguity I mentioned before. So um, I would uh, also need a large data set. Well, for the segmentation problem, I, I guess when we get more sophisticated, we can apply like RNN and maybe some, something like virtual fat uh, to solve that. But firstly, so um, if any of you uh, might be interested, so I would uh, like to uh, draw attention, like just a couple of help, like, like if, uh, maybe if you have like uh, data and or, or you uh, you can share, and then the model will become more uh, comprehensive. And also, like uh, even it's not just for no, one like uh, I just uh, make an app for uh, Hong Kong. I like to uh, it to be flexible. So whenever you upload uh, your own training model, it can adapt to different regions. And so uh, for the data, I think I would want to contact the. The uh, no, organization and uh, helping the uh, hearing disabled uh, to see if we can uh, uh, get more label images, and of course, uh, Alex, uh, to improve the uh, interface, and maybe to learn the uh, in the learning part. I think maybe combining some AR or like uh, to uh, generate um, from um, the uh, word to the images like. 
um, how our one would do the uh, assign would be helping. So I'd just like to uh, um, share a quote with you. Like, as the saying, like, the power of open source is the power of the people, the people group. Uh, uh, for, for the um, I, app idea I just shared, uh, I will uh, actually demonstrate one thing. Like the writing app uh, may, may be easy, like especially maybe easy for uh, many of you, but it won't be easy to, for one to uh, get uh, all kinds of photos, like uh, maybe millions. But when we uh, go together, uh, that uh, things can become um, uh, much better. And I believe that is the spirit of open source. So. And this is the end of my presentation today. Uh, thank you very much. So any questions? Uh, any questions? <coughs> we still have five minutes, yeah. so you can feel free to ask any questions. Yeah, about any questions this like project. Uh, English, Mandarin, or Cantonese are uh, welcome. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, or, or maybe comments. I heard. Yeah, I actually we uh, I talked with some uh, our friends and and found out that like they suggested uh, uh, that that some of them ideas like maybe it, uh, I'm told that uh, there are. Also, some similar ideas going on, but not sure if open and source. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm yet to uh, discuss more of them, like uh, what is being done because I can't find it online. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. That's my. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.